right. I can't it, girls. I can't. He'll take home. Yes. He'll take yes. home the PBA World Championship for the first time in his career. Tom Dory is a major champion on the PBA Tour. This is it, brother. This one means everything. This is awesome. He's in a major moment working on three in a row, and with a strike, he could take the lead for the first time in this title match. A song, I didn't pick that. <laughs> Not his strike song. Tom's uh, quite a character. Just minutes from the USF campus, we crown another champion, the third major of the season. Five bowlers are here. Only one will take home a trophy and big prize money and a part of PBA history. Exciting time to be a sports fan here. Exciting time for this guy, Tom Doherty. We've talked to the younger players. There's not a player that's been on this telecast that were in their 30s. Tom Doherty is 46 after 56 games. We asked him last night, how do you feel? He says, I feel great. Earl Anthony Trophy awaits the winner. A guaranteed great PBA World Championship. Does he have it? He'll take home the PBA World Championship for the first time in his career. Tom Doherty is a major champion of the PBA Tour. This is it, brother. This one means everything. This is awesome. Let's talk about this place because what's it mean that you won your first major here? You have yeah. been in this building for 30 plus years. Tampa, man, Tampa Bay is, is the home of the champions this year. So I figured I would just continue the tradition and, and it worked out. It's awesome. Tonight, Tom Doherty tries for a second title of this year's World Series. He's joined now by Kimberly. Thanks, Dave. So Tom, you beat both Pete Weber and Walter Ray Williams Jr. to get here tonight. So what was it like going up against two legends? Because I mean this in the nicest way possible, but I can't imagine there are a lot of fans at home going, I hope Tom beats both of those guys. Well, thanks, Kimberly. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for bringing that to my attention. But, I mean, it's a lifelong dream to bowl against P. Weber. I mean, that was something I always wanted to do. I wanted to do it on TV where we can get yelling at each other and having a good old time. And um, That was a hard match for me. That was an emotional match. And uh, I, I wanted to win, but it was, it, was, it was tough the whole time. But he grew up bowling right here. AMF University Lance won. By his estimation with us, some 15 titles in this building growing up. They used to lock him in here at night. Literally. he get up in the morning, go right to high school from here after bowling all night. Before this week, his last win had been at the PBA Wolf Open in 2016. Watch this. Oh boy, this one's all about speed. Oh, oh boy, I mean, Tom, it was pretty good. Just a shade inside. Yes, baby, come on. What a week, what a week. 
It was under 17 miles an hour. When was the last time you can remember a professional on this tour throwing at 16.8 miles I, I an hour? I can't. I can't either. I can't. I mean, that's incredible speed control. I think the last time he was on, he was throwing at 19, 20 miles an hour. <sighs> Adjusting to conditions in the bowling center he grew up competing in. 15 titles he won here. As a junior bowler growing up through high school. He loves this place. My plane. You bet. Needs nine this for the win. Tom Doherty does it again. His second title of the 2021 World Series of Bowling. Well, how do you describe this World Series of Bowling for you? Because it's been a huge week. You won your first major. You won another title. Last night, you got to watch your best friend, Sean yeah. Maldonado, win his first PBA Tour title. How would you describe it in one word? Fabulous. <laughs>